things. I absolutely hate freaking time change. It screws my biological clock up so much for a week, so. Mm. Anyway, white thing over there. That's a lid off a bucket. That was on something mom had up on the deck. And it's been tucked in right there against the side of the house for like two months after the last storm. Uh, both boxes were over here. The bucket that was over there. Oh, oh there it is. It's right there. Um, part of the contents out of that. <laughs> over there and around the corner about 11 o'clock last night when the wind hit again Becky was asleep and snoring and she about hit the ceiling when the wind rocked the trailer and I'm like yeah it's been worse but man that's a pretty good hit piece of plastic down there one of the ag bags we use underneath the hay it's been right here for like a month or two. It had enough uh, old crusty stuff in it to keep it from blowing away until sometime in the middle of the night. Uh, I don't know where that little bucket came from. I know where it is. I have to remember to get that out of there. And as you can see, the blue rain in roughly 16 feet so yeah and since oh, time change has me so screwed up I mean literally I'm half looking cross eyed this morning um, I'm just going to start feeding here because I'm here That's what the weather station said before I came out, so, yay. It's a good day to look for defects in roofing after last night. Good morning, Wally. Wally! No, I'm watching the dogs. You're supposed to feed me. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, boy. Yeah. Yeah, we do got a name for you, but I don't recall what it is exactly. Yeah, Long Haul Cowboy or something like that, I think. But do not quote me on that. They'll be happy here in a minute. You won't be, because I'm going to shut you off for, for that anyway, because it kind of takes both hands to fill that bucket. But you can... Wow, that's fuzzy. Not only because my eyes are fuzzy, because I'm guessing there's a drop of water on the lens now. Mm -hmm. So, I'll bring you back. That, by the magic of video, it's clear again, because I got the water off the lens. And she's about to get it. She did one little kick. I was going to go feed everybody else. And I came back, and she hasn't done it in like three minutes. And now she's back at it. It's just hard to get her where I want to get her from here. But, you know, where my phone's ringing. Everybody know what time it is? Huh? I don't know if we're watching Mr. Rogers or SpongeBob's Bird Pants or. But does anybody know what time it is? It's after talk time. What do you think, ladies? Like the three stooges. We got three more over here. Mm -hmm. um, six eleven's getting closer. One twenty two J. She's been getting a little closer. I hope you don't. She's been coming up to the top pretty regular now. And O one A eight. She's been up before. Three twenty four A. I'll get your head out of my way. That's one. That's a big girl's kid. And and she's standing right in the middle of the pack here, literally. She's just as big, and she's the youngest in here. I think I've mentioned that a time or two. 618. Her mom is the one that's always about 10 axe handles wide before she calves. 241's a little humpback lady. But damn, she's got a lot of 
a lot of dogs left around here. And they don't, I mean, like there's one that's got a little happy back to her. Some parts of the country, they'd say it's selenium. Well, here it'd be selenium deficiency, so. And it, you know, if it was more than just one humpback, we could say that it might have something to do with that. But. Brent's brat, yeah. Hope is gonna sneak up here and get a hold. Oh, even big girl's kid, she's getting pretty close. She usually doesn't get that close. What you think, huh? No, maybe? Oh, that's within two inches of touching my phone. What are you looking at outside? You kind of look like the new boy. Yeah, you just need some tufts hanging out over your eyes like he does. Looks like he needs his eyebrows shaved, you know, at least trimmed. Anyway, I'm going to finish feeding. Then go let that biatch out of the lockups to the other end of the barn. Against my better judgment, she should stand there until she goes on the trailer. The way things are going. You might think, oh my gosh, that's me. Well, <laughs> she's got her licks in on us. Just ask Ty. If she's standing down there, ain't doing nothing at the moment, so hopefully he's still eating. And I'm going to get these girls to eat. Huh, what do you think? Chickens. Chickens. I started here for something to look at. She thinks I'm going to give her something. I ain't giving her nothing. So, freaking time change. It's already noon. I walk by here and I look over here and it kind of looks like maybe a cow walked through here and left something. <laughs> I'm like, no, it can't be. Because if there was, I mean, that straw pile would have been totally blown up and that probably would have been uncovered. That would have been ripped up. It's not. That would be what's left of a bird nest that was up there somewhere. Oh, freaking wind. I'm surprised a bunch of stuff hasn't blown around in here, but pretty much everything has a little weight to it. I picked up, and I spent an hour getting stuff cleaned up out in the yard earlier. Those two buckets, they just stay there because of luck, I guess. I don't know. And yet, still no new babies yet. But hey, it quit raining for a little bit. And the wind died down some. I mean, the flag actually waves now instead of looking like it's been starched. Eh, I spoke too soon. It's starting to rain again. But, get on this new freaking schedule. Funny story about that. I was in a grocery store probably 20 years ago. Happened to be able to change time. The gal in front of me in line is bitching to the teller about the goddamn farmers have to have daylight savings time so they can work later. It's all their fault and she hates it. I cleared my throat. Excuse me, ma'am. It ain't the farmers. I said, I don't know a single farmer that likes changing time. I said, I still get up when the sun does. I still go get done after the sun's down. Doesn't make any difference to me. I said, but the actual time change just means that I can't order parts when I usually do because I got to wait another hour. Or, oh gee, I can order parts early now. <sighs> yeah, they don't get it explained it to her that it was all because some idiot thought that they needed to mow their lawn during the week after work. Because that's exactly all it was. Well, you're freaking lawn on a weekend when everybody else does. Anyway, I'm going to get a bite to eat and figure out what I'm going to do. Well, look who came to see us. And look who she drug with her. Lately. Hi. Hi. Ignore the TV. Oh, she, she hung her bottle and she doesn't... Let's see, there's a few that just have Oh, there he is. There's another one. That looks better. See the backwards of all these over here all worried he's not going to get his green. 
There you go, buddy. And uh, yeah, it just let up a little bit. So I'm barn hopping. It's been just wonderful this afternoon. Of course, it was wonderful to see Blakely and Brooke and Matt. Of course, we'll have Blakely tomorrow. And uh, the wind finally died down. That stuff's coming straight down out there now. Amazing. We'll see what the creek looks like here in a minute. Yeah, you guessed it. 241's first. Still wonder when she's going to do something. She's got a string. She's bagging. Been that way for three or four days. Oh, then we got Dancer. The rest of them are over there like, it's too crappy out there. And I lied. The, the wind's still blowing. Just wasn't bad in the back barn. When I went to open that gate, it made it halfway open and tried to close again. So. Oh yeah, I found a tooth laying in that one this morning. It's over another barn. I was gonna give it to Ty earlier. Every now and then we find those. And I'm kind of surprised. I mean, it pricks up a little bit from what it was yesterday, but trying to get what I can see down there. But it's still got a long ways to go with the bridge. That's probably up six inches, maybe. That ain't too bad. No rainy dog getting wet. Oh, now they want to come out. Well, looky here. Time for these girls to eat. I hope you don't. 611. Brent's brat. How you doing, Sapphire? Oh, 241. Yeah, I'm surprised your mama hasn't stuck a sibling on the ground for you. Yeah. I thought she'd do it a couple weeks ago. God only knows. Anyway, it just let up raining right after I got in this barn. You know, wait till I'm in here to let up. Maybe I'll get back to the trailer without getting too soaked. Anyway, I think they'd like to eat. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? Who wants to eat? Somebody's got to tell me hi. Or nobody gets to eat. Okay, you did it. Sapphire says she wants to eat. So, thanks for watching. And hey, a like would be much appreciated because, I don't know, I guess it's just me unless I absolutely hate a video. Um, I don't do a thumbs down on anybody. <clears throat> but unless I absolutely hate it, I give it a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, subscribe. See what's happening. Maybe sometime this spring, we'll see more calves. Other than that one who's standing there acting like a big boy thinking he's eating hay. Oh, anyway. Uh, tomorrow, I think Becky and I got to go with mom to her doctor's appointment. Of course, I think I feed before that. I think. I don't know what time her appointment is. Otherwise, Ty's got to feed in the morning, and then you won't get any heifer talk. Unless she does some, which she might. It'd be nice. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you'll have a great Monday. Hope everybody had a great Sunday.